some changes to each meal so we can see study the effect of that change from the previous day and then from the tomorrow onwards uh, i'm going to start trying uh, different foods that i generally don't eat because i know they are bad like i'm going to eat a pizza a bagel with cream cheese and donuts it's uh, time for me to enjoy on the excuse of the study uh, so and then uh, some of you have written to me that you would like me to give you all vegetarian options whenever i'm eating meat and i will do that also uh, in everything i'll try to suggest what are the vegetarian that you can try thank you so we start off with breakfast and the breakfast today as you can see uh, is almost like yesterday one egg two links of sausage and i have added one slice of toasted bread bread so let us see how this adding the slice of bread which is carb affects the sugar compared to the day before without the bread so just before i started eating it was at around 145 my sugar level and then it stayed at around that level for about half an hour uh, and slightly less uh, for almost one hour the sugar after a meal takes almost an hour to start working on your blood to increase the sugar so at around 10 15 9 o'clock was the breakfast after one hour 15 minutes the sugar started going up slowly like almost five points for every five minutes so it steadily climbed up and this is normal sugar going up almost to 200 is very normal and in my case by about 11 30 i had reached the peak of 205 this is not bad in general but how soon it comes down is what we have to watch uh, like yesterday i had metformin 425 mg for my medication and after it reached the peak it started going down a little slowly compared to the slope of how it went up it started going down very slowly and by about 12 o'clock i was around 185 and it slowly kept going down till about 12 30 when i had my lunch so at 12 30 when i started my lunch i was already 170 and again after that it kept going down a little bit uh, till about one o'clock at one o'clock i was around 160 so this is how the sugar behaved for adding a slice of bread let us see how it was yesterday without the bread so this was my yesterday's breakfast one egg sunny side up and two sausage links and no no bread here so look at how my sugar yesterday was almost steady and started going down at around 11 o'clock and by the time i had my lunch at 12 30 my sugar had come down to about 115 120 so just adding bread you look at the graph how it has gone so this is the effect next let us go and see how the uh, lunch worked let us look at the lunch now 
So at lunch, I had my regular salad, and then I had, we call it khadi. It's basically made out of chickpeas flour and some garnishing. And then I also had added today a bowl of yogurt. So when I started the lunch, as uh, you know, the breakfast, you know, we did end up here because of the slice of bread. So that was the con this was the continuation. Started around 165, and when I had lunch, and slowly came down, very slowly. And by about 1 o'clock, it was around 1.55, half an hour after my lunch. And again continued its downward trend very slowly. Very slowly, at till 1.30, it was 1.45. And then again, the same slope of coming down, not very fast. And at around 2, 2.05, I reach the point there, the minimum of the downward slope. And then I stayed there almost at the same level till about 2.30, 2.35. And then started going down, started going down slowly uh, till about 3 p.m. And then the slope increased. It started coming. If you look at this slope and this slope, it started coming down a little more aggressively, almost one point per minute, till it reached its lowest point around 3.30 when I had my tea. So that day my tea was the regular milk tea with baked peanuts. And I stayed there uh, uh, almost through this period, at, that was around 85, 83, 84, till 4.30. So this is how the food for lunch worked. Now, uh, uh, let, uh, I'm going to show you how yesterday's lunch figures. So I have a graph here for yesterday's lunch. And it also shows what I had for yesterday lunch was just the salad and the dal. Whereas here today I had a salad, that same kind of one dal, kadi, and I added a cup of yogurt. So it is, in today's food, it actually came down after eating, whereas in yesterday's food, if you see that my uh, sugar went up a little bit, up to 145. And this is one big, uh, one of the big revelations to me that yogurt, uh, maybe it has got this probiotic properties. Uh, I don't know how it helps. I don't know the science behind it. But all I have noticed is that yogurt actually helps in bringing down the sugar whereas yesterday when i had no yogurt my sugar actually went up and then it started coming down and after 2 30 again it started going up and with my tea yesterday with tea and it was boiled peanuts it started going up even more so, we can learn from this that yogurt helps in reducing your sugar and uh, apparently baked peanuts here in, in this today's graph brings down the sugar level whereas yesterday when I had boiled peanuts the sugar actually started going up after tea. So these are the kinds of uh, learnings that we have to take into consideration. 
uh, again keep in mind please keep in mind i am not advocating anything this is how my body is reacting so maybe for you you are on different medications and your body may react differently but i think in general it's the learnings of these how these different foods affect us it is very clear from this lunchtime analysis okay so now let's go to the dinner let us look at dinner so dinner started off at dinner time i was around 110 and at 7 o'clock i had a salad and my sugar pretty much stayed where it was at 110 which i am very happy about if it stays there and what this is that my message is salads do not affect your sugar salads without any fancy dressing all i put is as you can see uh, some salt and black pepper and then it went down a little bit so some kind of a glitch and then went slowly up to about 120 stayed there and around 9 pm which is the time i typically have my din my meat my dinner it pretty much stayed where it was i actually started going after 9:30 it started going down a bit so for the people who uh eat meat you know as long as you don't put oil in it uh this is just barbecued meat the sausage and the meat the sh- sugar actually goes down after the meat 9 o'clock my sugar pretty much remained almost the same in fact it went down to about uh, this would be about uh, 100 and at that time i had the boiled peanuts and it went slightly up not a whole lot but went slightly up so this is how was the sugar for this meal now let us see how the uh, it compares to yesterday's dinner so here was yesterday's dinner the salad the my regular meat with some ground wheat and a date in the evening instead of peanuts and this is the graph so this graph was like this and pretty much between yesterday's dinner and today's dinner was like almost within range sometimes our body is a little bit funny and after i had the meat on both the days it went down and the date actually kept my sugar down without going up whereas the peanuts boiled peanuts actually took it up took it up a little bit like this so this is so far i would say a very safe dinner i'm eating for the vegetarians they can replace the meat here with if you eat eggs you can eat eggs uh you can make something out of tofu or paneer or you can make something out of soy they have got a soy meal they sell that's a good protein so you can substitute some kind of a protein here could also be a dal a lentil soup as long as it doesn't have oil and you kind of barbecue it or bake it uh, that should help you a uh, boiled eggs are good for people who eat uh eggs so thank you for watching today's episode and uh, we will see you in the next episode thank you